Hello, I'm Carl Thompson from StorageCraft. In this tutorial, I'll take you through StorageCraft's latest update to the ShadowProtect solution, which now includes the ability to replicate a copy of your backups directly to Amazon S3. This is now introduced in the 7.5 release of Image Manager. Let's take a quick look at the agenda. I want to show you how the ShadowProtect solution has been designed from the ground up to complement replication such as S3. Firstly, why off-site backups are critical. Today's challenges with off-site backups. Backup and image management design. How the S3 replication works. And we'll finish up with a demonstration. So what is the problem we're trying to solve and why are off-site backups so critical? So let's start with on-site backups. This is the best way to ensure speedy backups for frequent RPO and rapid recovery for a fast RTO. However, today, business continuity management still remains a critical weak spot for organizations of all sizes. Some of the key reasons to get a copy of your backups off-site are you need to protect against hardware, operating system, security, power, or natural disasters. You should isolate separately from on-site infrastructure to protect against malicious or ransomware type events. The last thing we want is to find our only backups have been rendered useless. Finally, we need to ensure we have multiple copies of backups to ensure they're resilient against corruption, particularly a continuous incremental image chain where you are reliant on a single base image. So what are today's challenges with off-site backups? We need to automate the process. Long gone are the days of someone manually taking tape or disk off-site each day. Dependent on connectivity, bandwidth limitations can be a factor, so we need an intelligent solution. The cost of off-site storage, particularly to meet retention requirements and handle your data growth. And again, long-term archive requirements can be a big factor in costs. Do we need to invest in additional infrastructure for backup storage capacity requirements? And tying back into automation, it needs to be easy to monitor and scalable for our MSPs. So what is the solution? How can we ensure the ongoing viability and continuity of our businesses in the event of an emergency? True business continuity starts with fast, reliable, comprehensive backup and disaster recovery. StorageCraft has been in the business for over a decade and continually delivers some of the most reliable, comprehensive, best-in-class backup, disaster recovery, system migration, and data protection solutions available on the market today. Let's take a look at how the solution has been designed with replication in mind. It starts with ShadowProtect SPX, where we schedule continuous incremental backups frequently throughout the day. If your business requires, as frequent as every 15 minutes, 24-7. So this could total 96 backups every day and nearly 700 per week. As you can imagine, storage requirements will grow rapidly. So Image Manager does exactly what it says it does. It does the heavy lifting of managing all the backup images created by ShadowProtect SPX. Image Manager consolidates intra-daily backups into a daily image. At the end of the week, daily images are consolidated into a single weekly image. And at the end of the month, the weekly images are consolidated into a single monthly image. Its primary objective is to allow you to set the desired retention policies to meet your business continuity management plan. The benefit is Image Manager frees up valuable storage space and allows your business continuity plan to move with you in time without having to worry about your RPO and RTO objectives or manually archiving or deleting backup images on your own. Let's take a look at the off-site replication options included with the ShadowProtect solution. Firstly, you can replicate a copy of your backups to the StorageCraft cloud services for easy to use end-to-end -end disaster recovery failover. Secondly, you can replicate to public clouds for long-term archive, which is now even easier with the built-in S3 replication. And thirdly, you can replicate to your MSP or offsite infrastructure for archive and DR. Moving on to the Image Manager S3 replication. When you configure S3 replication, Image Manager will initially replicate the required image chain files. Going forward, Image Manager will replicate the consolidated daily images every night. At the end of the month, Image Manager will also replicate the consolidated monthly images. So what we have is the monthly images building up month after month in S3, giving us long-term retention. Lastly, retention will run. 
When a new consolidated month file is replicated, it will remove all consolidated daily files older than the next most recent consolidated month file. This way, it will always retain at least one month of consolidated daily files and then your previous monthly and base image file. With StorageCraft Cloud Services, Intelligent FTP and ShadowStream Replication, an image manager, it is designed to leverage remote image management. This performs the weekly and monthly consolidation. However, with S3 replication, by sending up the monthly images, it means additional remote compute is not required for that consolidation process. Because Shadow Protect is running continuous incremental backups, it doesn't have to send and store additional base images. So you end up with an image chain in S3, and utilizing retention, it is not duplicating data long term, which allows for reduced bandwidth to send up the backups and reduces storage costs. Let's jump into a demo and take a quick look. So firstly, if I jump into the Amazon console, I'm going to create an S3 bucket. So I'm going to call this STC YouTube. I'm just going to leave it in my Sydney region and I'm going to go next. And I'm going to accept the default settings here and create the bucket. So I'm just doing a fairly basic setup here for the purpose of this demonstration. The final thing I'm going to do is create an access key so that I can configure my image manager to replicate into this bucket. So under my security credentials, I'm going to go in here and create um, an access key and ID. So create a new access key and show access key. So I'm just gonna copy that access key and then I'll come back and grab that shared key in a moment. So in Image Manager, we're going to go in and add a replication job to one of my backups. I'm going to select the new Amazon S3 compatible storage, which is uh, available in Image Manager 7.5. And for the location, we're going to go in and add a location. So I'll call this S3 Demo. Uh, I've got the endpoint there for Amazon AWS already uh, inserted there. And then for the bucket, we called it STC YouTube. So I'm going to go and paste in my access key. Then I'm just going to jump back and go and copy the shared access key, paste it in there. Now when we click save, it's going to verify that those credentials and that it can connect to the bucket. It's then going to create a subdirectory in that bucket with the path name of that machine. Um, by default, it's obviously going to send up the base image file. So I could actually copy my initial image chain to a, a C drive and go and replicate that from somewhere else or, or manually copy it into that bucket. Um, otherwise, um, by default, it will just send the whole image chain up over the internet. So I just simply go and click Save. Um, we see the replication jobs being created here. It's gone into that bucket, created the directory um, that we can see down here in that bucket, and then it's starting to replicate the base image as well as the shortest path image chain up until the most recent consolidated daily image. Going forward, as Shadow Protect backs up, Image Manager verifies it. At the end of the day, the consolidated daily file is created. It will then automatically replicate that into S3. And again, at the end of the month, once it does the monthly consolidation, it will replicate that up as well. And then based on the next most recent consolidated monthly image in S3, it will go and remove the previous set of consolidated daily images. So bearing in mind, you'll always have the most recent set of consolidated daily images for, for the previous month. It's the prior month to that that gets cleaned up as part of retention. Great, well, that's the end of this short demonstration. As you can see, replicating to S3 is really easy and a complementary solution to anyone using the Shadow Protect solution. Thanks for watching the StorageCraft tutorial.